Okay, well, this is a little walkthrough of our Chapter 2 uh, Math 7 test, which we are giving at the end of the year here as a review. So this is a test that caused so many of you problems at the beginning of the year, and I know you're going to do so well at the end of the year. Write the rational number as a decimal. Well, remember to write a fraction as a decimal, it's top divided by bottom. And because it's a negative fraction, it better be a negative decimal if they're going to be equal. So we can do, over here I'll do 3 divided by 5. We could do that. That's a horrible placement as I would not have any place for my quotient. That's a better pencil too. 3 divided by 5. Well, 5 of course cannot go into 3, but as long as I just put a 0 there, I mean put a decimal and annex a 0, 5 goes into 30. I'll let you wrap that problem up, but there is another way to do that problem. We could multiply the top and bottom by 2 here to make this negative 6 tenths. And if we make it negative 6 tenths, maybe we know how to write that as a decimal. So you can either write negative 6 tenths as a decimal, or you can do this math problem over here remembering that your answer will be negative. For the second one, write the decimal as a fraction or a mixed number. Well, this is going to go into a mixed number because there's a whole number part here. And a mixed number has a whole number part and a fractional part. Well, the whole number part doesn't change. And if we know how to say this correctly, 6 and 34 hundredths, we know how to write it. 6 and 34 hundredths. We do have to simplify this. Um, I know 2 can go into both of those as they're both even. So the 6 stays the same. 2 goes into 34 17 times. And 2 goes into 100 some number of times right there. I'll let you wrap up that problem, although it is pretty simple. Number 3. Complete the statement using less than, greater than, or equal to. Negative 7.4, negative 6.8. Well, I want you to think of temperatures here. Which one would be a colder temperature? Although they're both below zero, one is colder than the other. The colder temperature is the lesser number. Negative 7.4 is colder than negative 6.8. So negative 7.4 is less than negative 6.8. Number four, add or subtract. Well, we're adding this one. And it says negative 5.24, negative 2.97. Same sign, so we're going to add and keep. So we have to keep the negative sign in our answer. 5.24, 2.97, lining up the decimals, of course. And when we add these, don't forget to drop the decimal down. We do keep it negative. Same sign. Add and keep. The number 5, 3.74 minus a negative 4.38. We'll remember, we take those two negatives and we make them a big plus. So now what we're doing is just 3 and 74 hundredths plus 4 and 38 hundredths. I'll let you add those together, remembering, of course, to drop your decimal straight down into your um, total there, your sum, number 6. Negative 7 thirds plus 6 and 2 thirds. Well, the thirds are nice because they're both common already. So we have negative 7 thirds. And then this 6 and 2 thirds, I'm going to turn into a improper fraction. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 2 is 20. So plus 20 thirds. Now, when you look at this one, different signs, so I have to subtract, but the denominator stays the same. So this is negative 7 and positive 20. I subtract those two to get 13, and I keep the sign of the larger absolute value, which would be the 20, so it stays positive. We do have to turn that into a mixed number. 3 goes into 13 four times with one left over. Number seven, five halves minus nine halves. Well, this is nice. They're both already improper fractions, 
and they both already have common denominator. We look at this problem and we say to ourselves, different sign, here's a positive, here's a negative. So I subtract these two. 9 minus 5 is 4 over 2, of course, because the denominator stays the same. But don't stop there. That's where a lot of kids make their mistake. We keep the sign of the larger absolute value. And 9 over 2 is a bigger absolute value than 5 over 2. So we keep it negative. We do have to turn that into a mixed number, although it actually goes into a whole, an integer this time. 2 goes into 4 exactly 2 times. Don't forget to keep the negative sign. The second side, or the second part of this quiz, was multiplication and division. Well, here we're just multiplying. Remember, when we multiply or divide, same sign positive, different sign negative. Number eight, these are different signs, so I know my answer is going to be negative. I'm going to put a negative right there where my answer is going to go so I don't forget. I have 0.22, or 22 hundredths, times negative 0.8. 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 2 is still 16, plus 1 is 17. Three numbers behind the decimal, three numbers behind the decimal. 0.176, up here where the negative was, don't forget. Number 9, different signs again, here I'm dividing. Different signs again though, so it's going to be negative again. So I'm going to put that negative up there so I don't forget. Remember, this is negative 2.5 divided by 0.5. That means the 0 0.5 goes on the outside and the negative 2.5 on the inside. We move the decimal one spot out here and one spot in here, which makes this problem now 5 on the outside and negative 25 on the inside. So 5 goes into 25. How many times? I'll let you wrap that up. Don't forget it goes over here. Our answer is negative because there was one of each. Number 10. I have negative divided by a negative. So my answer is going to be positive. Now normally you wouldn't put a plus sign. You would just leave it blank. But because I want to make sure that my answer is positive, I'm putting a plus sign there. It won't have a plus sign on the questions that you answer, though. There will just It'll just be blank. So this is negative 2 over 9. So keep the first one, change it to multiplication, and invert the second one, negative 27 over 12. 3 goes into 9 three times. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 9 goes into 9 once. And 9 goes into 27 three times. 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 12 six times. Well, now I have 1 times 3 for 3 on the top, and 1 times 6 for 6 on the bottom. That simplifies to... 1 over 2. Don't forget, it was positive because same sign, positive. One more here. And here on 11, we've got three factors. We have to multiply all of those. I'm going to turn them all into fractions. But before I do, I want to look and say I've got a negative, a positive, and a negative. An even number of negatives leaves my answer positive. So I've got negative 2 over 3 times Two and a half, if I put that into an improper fraction, two times two is four plus one is five over two, times negative three, which is negative three over one. Simplifying before I multiply here makes this pretty easy. Two goes into two once, two goes into two once. Three goes into three once, three goes into three once. One times five times one is five, and one times one times one is one. 5 over 1 is the same as some whole number. Put that over here. Make sure it's positive. Find the perimeter and area of the rectangle. Remember, perimeter is the distance around it, and area is the length times the width. Write the expression you would use to find the perimeter. Well, we add up all the distances. Now, not just these two, though. Remember, we have to go all the way around it. So we've got 9.25 plus 7 plus another 9.25, plus another 7. Add all of those up, and you'll have your... So that's the answer for number 12 right there. Add them up to get your answer, which is the answer to number 13. I'll let you do that. Write the expression for the area. 
area is length times width, so 9.25 times 7. When you're all done multiplying these, don't forget, two numbers behind the decimal in the problem, so two numbers behind the decimal in the answer. I'll let you multiply those together to get your answer here. Remember, this would be in inches, and this would be in inches squared because it's area. Multiply those two together to get your area. Excellent. Well, as soon as you're done with this walkthrough, go on over and actually take the Math 7 test for Chapter 2 again as a review for the end of the year. Good luck.